Okay, so I've got a bumblebee above my head that seems to have gotten stuck in our roof light. So apologies if you can hear the bumblebee buzzing. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we're just going to start with our feet hip distance, arms down by our sides, and then just gently close your eyes and just take a moment to arrive in class. So we're gonna work through all the major joints in the body this evening. So a little bit of a class for everywhere. <clears throat> But we'll start just by having a moment to check in. So just take a little bit of notice as to how the body feels this evening. Whether there's any sensations in your bones and your joints and your muscles to be felt. Noticing if your body's impatient to get started or whether you're quite happy just having a quiet moment on your mat. <clears throat> and then take notice of the breath. Noticing if you're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth, or whether you're breathing in another way. For class this evening, we'll try to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Notice the length of your inhale and the length of your exhale. Notice where the breath moves your body. Excellent. And then we'll do some deeper breath. So we're going to start with hugging breath. So we bring our arms out in front of us. As we inhale, we open the arms nice and wide, filling the chest and the belly with air. And then as you exhale, cross the arms over and give yourself a hug, dropping your chin to chest. Inhale to open the arms. And then as you exhale, cross the other arm on top, giving yourself a hug. Inhaling to open. Exhale, give yourself a hug. Crossing the arms the other way each time. Inhaling, open. Exhaling to give yourself a hug. Inhaling to open. And exhaling to hug. Inhaling to open. <laughs> and exhaling to hug. Inhaling to open. Exhale, hug. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug. And then just relax the arms down by your sides. <clears throat> and really ground down through your feet. So for this next one, you can have hands on hips or you can have your hands at your heart center, whichever you fancy. And really pay attention to the weight on your feet. So start by having the weight really on that sweet spot so that the weight is evenly distributed between the balls of your feet and your heels. And then as we take the weight forward, we lift the heels as high as we can. Then exhale, lower those heels back down and take the weight back over the feet. Inhale, take the weight forward, come up onto the tiptoes, really squeezing those inner ankles together. Hold it for a moment and then squeeze those heels back down towards the mat. So inhale, take the weight forward, up onto the tiptoes, squeeze the ankles together, hold it. And then exhale, lower the heels down and take the weight back. One more like this, inhaling forwards, up onto the tiptoes. And then back down. Good, take the arms up above the head. Interlace the fingers. Maybe let the index fingers come out like a Charlie's Angel gum. And then really lift up and out over the waist. You can have your feet hip width, or if it's better for your stability, you can have them a bit wider. Really lift up out of the waist and then take your hands over towards the left, really curving through the whole spine, maybe shifting your hips in the other direction to increase the curve and trying to make that curve as even as possible throughout the whole spine, really opening this top armpit up towards the ceiling so we're not allowing it to fall forwards. And then have a couple of breaths there.
really reaching the fingers away from you, really grounding down through the feet, squeezing the glutes and the bum muscles. Take a nice big inhale. See if you can go a little bit deeper and then pull the tummy muscles in and come back up to centre. Just do a couple of circles through the shoulders, nice big circles, maybe three backwards and then three forwards. And then we'll move to the other side. So arms up above the head, interlace the fingers, point the index fingers towards the ceiling. Really lift up out of the waist and then curve the spine over towards the right. Keeping that armpit open towards the ceiling. Maybe shifting the hips in the opposite direction to increase the curve. Really stretching down the whole left side of the body. And then just have a couple of breaths here. Really grounding down through those feet, squeezing those bum muscles, pulling those tummy muscles in. Take a nice big inhale. On an exhale, see if you can go a little bit deeper. And then pull those tummy muscles in, come back to centre. And have a few circles through the shoulders again. And then take it the other way. Excellent. And then allow the arms to come down by your sides. This time, inhale the hands up above the head. And exhale, take a great big bend in the knees and come into a forward fold. Now from here, we can have our hands on the floor or holding on somewhere along the lower leg. From our bent knees, we're going to take a nice big inhale. Squeeze the muscles in the legs a little bit and then exhale as we raise our hips up to the ceiling as we stretch our head down towards the floor. Try to fold yourself in half. Inhale, bend the knees, keeping some tension in the legs. Exhale, stretch the hips up towards the ceiling, head down towards the floor. So inhaling as the hips lower and then exhaling as you squeeze them up towards the ceiling, trying to straighten the legs. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, one more, inhaling down, exhaling up, and then release the hands wherever they're holding on, roll the spine all the way back up to standing. Beautiful, hands at heart centre. Really grounding down through the feet once more. Getting that weight in that perfect spot where you're balanced over the balls of your feet and your heels. Tuck the tailbone under. Really squeeze the bum muscles, squeeze the tummy muscles. Lift the chest up towards the ceiling. Take the eyes up towards the ceiling and then curve through the spine. Just going back a little way. Really putting those tummy muscles in, really firming up all the muscles in the legs reaching that chest up towards the ceiling. One more breath there. And then pull those tummy muscles in, come back up to standing. Good, then come to the tops of your mats. Inhale the arms up above the head. Exhale, folding forwards, nice big bend in the knees. Inhale, halfway lift, long back, long neck. Exhale, fold. Take the left foot back, take the right foot back into plank. Stretching the chest forwards, tucking the tailbone under, and just holding plank for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and then drop the knees down towards the mat. So really thinking about our core strength and keeping ourselves nice and stable. Take the right leg out behind you and stretch the toes away as far as you can. Then take the opposite arm out in front of you. Really firming up through the tummy muscles, through the back muscles. Really pressing into the ground with your hand and the supporting shin. Nice big inhale here, really stretching those toes and those fingers away, making your limbs as long as possible. And 
then pop the hand back down, pop the knee back down, and we'll move to the other side. So take the left leg out behind you, really stretching those toes away. Firm up through the tummy muscles and the back muscles, and then take the opposite arm out in front of you. Really stretching those fingers away, stretching those toes away, making sure you're really strong through the torso. Then pop the hand down, pop the knee down. This time, inhale the right arm up towards the ceiling, exhale it underneath the body, through the gap, come down onto the shoulder. You can either keep your hand in front of your face, pressing into the ground to increase the stretch, if you want to stretch into the armpit, reach your fingertips forwards and really press the armpit down towards the floor. Or if you'd like to increase the twist further, take the left arm up towards the ceiling, wrap it around your back and reach for the right thigh. Really open that shoulder up towards the ceiling. isn't already bring your hand back in front of your face press back up to your tabletop and we'll move to the other side so inhale the left arm up this time and then feed it underneath your body and come down onto your left shoulder and then pick your preferred hand position either hand in front of your face pressing into the ground increasing the twist or walk your fingertips away pressing the um, armpit towards the ground to stretch through the armpit or take the arm up and over, this time reaching for the left thigh. Really opening that shoulder up towards the ceiling to increase the stretch. One more breath here. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. Then bring your hand back in front of your face if it's not there already. Press yourself all the way back up to tabletop. Take the right leg out behind you again. This time cross it over, drop the toes down towards the floor. Look around towards those toes, stretching down the whole right side of the body. your head back to centre, lift up the leg and take it all the way around to the front, dropping it to the outside edge of the hand. And then keeping the left hand down, we'll raise the right arm up coming into a twist. Then float that hand back down to the mat, take the leg back to where it came from so we end back up in our tabletop. Then take the left leg out behind you, cross that leg over, drop the toes down towards the mat, look around towards those toes, this time stretching down the whole left side of the body. And coming back to centre, 
lift up the leg, bring the knee all the way around the side and the foot lands at the outside edge of the hand. And then we'll take the left arm up into a twist. And then float that hand back down, take the leg back to where it came from. And this time more of a balanced one. So keeping the left shin exactly where it is on the mat. Take the right leg out behind you and drop the toes down just behind the toes of the left foot. Open up your hip and gently bring the right hand closer to you. Maybe bringing it up onto your hip. Really think about balancing on your hand and the remaining left shin. If you feel good here, try and keep your left shin exactly as it is because the foot will try and wing out. Then maybe lift the back leg. If you can lift the back leg and you're still comfortable, maybe lift the right arm. And just have a couple of breaths there. Really squeezing everything in to keep the stability in your pose. Excellent, keep breathing, keep squeezing. Then bring that hand back down to the mat and bring the foot and the knee back to your tabletop. Then we'll try the other side because one side is generally easier than the other. So take the left leg out behind you and then drop those toes just behind the toes of the right foot. Taking the weight into the right hand, open your hip up towards the ceiling and then gradually bring the left hand closer. Maybe take the left hand to your hip. If you feel comfortable there, maybe lift the back leg. If you feel balanced there, maybe lift the left arm. Really squeezing everything in to keep your stability in your pose. Pressing the shin down into the mat, pressing the hand down into the mat. Excellent, and bring that hand back down, bring the knee back down. <clears throat> and then just take the hips back towards the heels and have a couple of breaths in child's pose. That can be completely relaxed with your elbows on the floor or with your hands round towards your feet. Or if you want more of an active pose, then keep the elbows raised. And really try and lengthen the spine by tiptoeing the fingers forward and encouraging your sit bones down towards your heels. Tabletop, tuck the toes and press up into our first down dog of class. And because it's our first one of this class, let's just have a wiggle and a jiggle here. Maybe you feel like you need to stretch out down the back of the legs. You can either bend the knees and encourage the heels down towards the floor, or you can use the toes on the back of your Achilles tendon for the opposite foot. Maybe you feel like stretching your chest through towards your thighs, or maybe you feel like wiggling through the shoulders. Have a wiggle or a stretch wherever your body feels it needs a wiggle and a stretch. And then once you've done your wiggling and your stretching, looking forward, step or hop the feet behind the wrists and then exhale forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll it all the way up to the top, reaching up, looking up, and then exhale, hand back to heart center. Inhaling, arms up. Exhale, folding forwards, nice big bend in the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Hit the left foot back. And then from your left foot, open up into warrior two. 
Really get comfortable in your warrior two. Nice bend in the front leg. Really ground down through the back um, outside edge of the foot. Stretch the fingers apart from one another. So really engage the arms and the shoulders. And then we'll move into reverse warrior. So flip the front palm, take it back, looking up towards the ceiling, reaching your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Nice big inhale here. And then as you exhale, come forwards, link the hands behind you and bow down into humble warrior. Take a breath here. Then as you inhale, pull the tummy muscles in, come up through the middle, take it back into reverse. Have a breath in reverse. Then take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, move it forwards into humble warrior, bowing down. On your next inhale, lift it up, come back to our warrior two. Gazing out over the front fingertips, make your warrior two legs really strong. Lift up out of the waist, stretch the fingertips apart from one another. Then we'll windmill the hands and round to frame the front foot, come onto the toes of the back foot and step it back to plank. Chest reaching forward, hips nice and low for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then drop your knees down, drop your chest and your chin down and scoop forwards into cobra. Really trying to make sure the curve of your cobra is even throughout your whole spine. Find some space in the lower back. Stretch the chest forwards. Pull the tummy muscles in. Then exhaling down to the mat, tuck the toes, take the hips back towards your heels and press it up into downward facing dog. Three inhales here, in through the nose, coming up onto your tiptoes. Exhale, encourage the heels down towards the mat. Inhale through the nose, up onto tiptoes. Exhale through the mouth, reaching your heels towards the mat. Inhale up, and then exhale down. Then either step or hop the feet behind the wrists and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll it all the way up to the top. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Good. Other side. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Right foot this time goes back. Drop the heel. Windmill up into your warrior two. Nice bend in the front leg. Really ground down through the outside edge of the back foot. Stretch the fingertips apart from one another. Really engage the muscles around your arms and your shoulders. Make your warrior two pose really strong. Gazing out over the front fingertips. Then flip the front palm, take it back into reverse warrior. Looking up towards the ceiling, reaching back with your fingertips. On your inhale, come through centre. On your exhale, link the fingers behind you and bow it down into humble warrior. Take a breath in humble warrior. Then pull your tummy muscles in, inhale your way back up, and exhale your way into reverse. Take a breath here. Yeah. 
Inhale through center, interlace lace the fingers. Exhale as you bow down into Humble Warrior. Take a breath here. Inhale as you come up through center. Exhale as you take it into reverse. Take a breath in reverse. Inhale through center, take the hands behind you for our last bow down into Humble Warrior. Inhale here. And exhale here. Inhale, bring it up through center, release the fingers, take it back to your Warrior Two. Gaze out over those front fingertips. And then windmill the hands around to frame that front foot. Coming onto the toes of the back foot, step it back to plank and hold your plank. Reaching your chest forwards, tucking the tailbone under for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop the knees down to the mat. Take the chest and the chin down and scoop it forwards into your cobra pose. Really stretching that chest forwards. <clears throat> Finding some space in the lower back. Taking the shoulders away from the ears. tucking the toes, take the hips back towards the heels and press it back up into downward facing dog. You want to have three breaths here in down dog, inhaling up onto the tiptoes, exhaling reaching the heels towards the mat, inhaling up, exhaling back down, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Looking forwards, bend the knees, step or hop the feet behind the hands and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll it all the way up to the top, reaching up, looking up. Exhale, hands down to heart centre. Good, take a turn to the side of your mat and take a nice big wide step. Toes pointing out towards the front corners of your mat. Bringing your hands to heart center to start with. Take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, go down into goddess or temple pose. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale down. Inhale, straighten. Exhale down. Then really think about opening those knees. So pressing those knees towards the back of your mat. Good, and hold. And then press it back up to the starting point. Good, take your hands to the back of your head. Take a nice big inhale. And this time, exhale down into goddess or temple. Take a nice big inhale at center. And then exhale, left elbow towards the left knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, right elbow to right knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. One more each side. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Keep those hips nice and low. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, push it up. Release the arms. Maybe give the legs a little bit of a kick. Good. Okay, this time, 
similar sort of movement. You can either keep your hands on your head or we can bring our arms into the mix. So we take it down into goddess. One hand is below, the other arm comes up and over. As we inhale to the center, we switch the arms, exhale to the other side. Good, inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling through center, exhaling over. One more each side. And coming back to center, squeezing those legs up, heel turning those feet in, give them a little kick. Good. Okay, the next one's a twist. So similar sort of thing, but this time instead of the arms floating from side to side, we're inhaling to the front and then twisting. Inhaling the other way and twisting. So start off at centre. Drop those hips down towards the mat. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, twist left. Inhale up. Exhale, twist right. Looking back over your shoulder. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. One more each side. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Lower the arms. Squeeze those legs up. Heel toe them in. And give them a little shake. Good. Okay. Nice wide legs, but no goddess this time, you'll be pleased to know. So lots of options here. You can keep your hands on your hips. You can take your hands to heart centre. As you get lower to the ground, you can either keep them there or you can take your hands to the ground, whichever feels best. So we're going to move from side to side, <clears throat> going as high or as low as it suits your practice this evening. So you might just want to rock from side to side up here somewhere. You might want to go a little bit deeper from side to side and the body might open up a little bit more once you've done a few side to sides. You may want to go even deeper and try and get those hips really low. Do whichever suits your body and how it feels this evening. Inhaling one way, exhaling the other way. Inhaling one way, exhaling the other way. Inhaling one way, exhaling the other way. And then come to centre, hands in the centre. So hopefully <clears throat> hands can reach the floor. You can always bend your knees if you need to. Bring your feet so that your outside edges of your feet are parallel to the ends of your mat rather than being pigeon-toed. Then keeping your right hand on the mat, reach the left arm up towards the ceiling into a twist. Bring that hand back down, reach the other arm up into a twist. So inhale the arm back down, exhale lift to twist, inhale the hand back down, exhale lift to twist, inhale the hand back down, exhale lift to twist, inhale that hand back down, exhale lift to twist. Then bring both hands down to the mat and then can we Basically, we're going to make our way down into a seated position, however you fancy doing that. The next one we're going to do is, go, is gate pose. So for gate pose, we have one knee in the middle of the mat. So you can start on both knees, if actually that makes more sense. <laughs> we take one foot out to the side. So we've got one knee and shin on the mat. The other foot's out to the side. So we're working with the side bodies in this pose. So we're going to take one arm up and over. So we're reaching the arm up and over towards the long leg. 
and then we take it the other way, ground down through the hand, and stretch the arm up and over. So we're really elongating from our fingers all the way down to our toes. Pull the tummy muscles in, take it the other way. Really stretching down the whole side of the body and then take it the other way, reaching the hand up and over. One more each way, bringing it up Really reaching that top arm over, keeping that, up, that armpit open towards the ceiling. And then take it the other way. Excellent. Okay, one more arm up and over. And then this time, when you go back the other way, stretch the arm and then once you're comfortable, Lift the leg, seeing if you can make yourself even longer. Good, drop the toe back down, come up to the middle, up and over. And then take it back, get comfortable, and then see if you can raise the leg too. Maybe even stretching the arm and the leg back to cause a bit of a curve through the spine. Come back to center, drop the leg. One more each way, up and over. And then take it back to our balance. Stretching the arm, stretching the toe, maybe stretching them both back to arch through the spine as well. Then bring it back, drop the foot, come up to the middle and we'll switch legs. So bring the other shin to the mat and take the opposite leg out long. We'll start by keeping those legs grounded. So start by taking the arm up and over towards the long leg. Just opening up this side of the body, waking up the inner thigh on this side and then take it up and over, keeping the foot grounded and stretch as long as you can that way. Good. Take it back up and over. And then in the other direction. Taking it back. <clears throat> trying to keep the bottom arm in front of the body because the body will try and cheat by using your leg to rest on. Really use your tummy muscles instead. And then take it back the other way. Excellent. Take it back, up and over, stretching those fingers over, opening that armpit towards the ceiling. And then this time when we take it back, get comfortable in your pose. And then if you'd like, lift the long leg. Really squeezing those muscles around the outer hip. Dropping that foot back down, take it back up and over. Seeing if you can go a little bit deeper each time as the body starts to open. And then taking it back long. Get comfortable first, then maybe lift the leg. Then if you want to, maybe arch through the spine, taking the hands and the foot backwards. Taking the hips forwards. Come back to centre, drop the leg, up and over. Last one. And then take it in the other direction. Get comfortable first, then lift the leg, and then maybe take the hand and the foot back. Bring it back to centre, drop the foot, Come back up to centre, bring that foot in and sit back down onto your mat. Just having a little rest. And then scoot your hips over to the sides, bring your legs out in front of you. We'll start by taking the legs wide into a seated, um, wide leg seated position. And just start by really lengthening through the spine. So make sure you're sat well on your sit bones. 
Make sure the spine is sat up nice and tall, tummy muscles pulled in. We'll start by taking our hands out in front of us, keeping our back as long as we can. Gently walk the hands forward and lower your body towards the mat. Just going as far as is comfortable for you today. Maybe engaging the legs gives you a little bit more space. But really think about keeping the spine long, keeping that chest stretching forwards, making the pivot come from your hips, not rounding through our back. Excellent. Another breath here. And walking the hands back into the centre. This time, turn your whole body around to face your left leg. Hands either side of your left leg. Lifting up out of the spine, pivot from the hips. Walk your hands forward until you can't go any further forward. Keeping your back as long as you can. Really grounding down to the opposite sit bone. Another couple of breaths here. Really engage the legs, give your body as much space as you can. And then gradually walk your hands back in towards your hips. Again, lifting up out of the spine, turn around to face the right leg. Hand goes either side of the right leg. Lifting up and out of the waist, keeping the back long, start to pivot from the hips over the right leg. Keep that chest stretching forwards, keep the back as long as possible. And walking your hands back in towards your hips and sit the spine up nice and tall. Then bring the legs together straight out in front of you and flex the toes up towards your nose. This time, really sit up nice and tall. <clears throat> Again, we're trying to keep our back as long as possible. So sit up nice and tall, pivot from the hips until you can't go any further forward, keeping the back long and then let the hands come down wherever they land. And then keeping the back long, maybe use the hands wherever they've landed to see if you can pull your body slightly further into the pose. Never going too far, only going as far as the body is comfortable. Keeping that chest stretching forwards, keeping that back as long as you can. Trying to take any rounding out through the shoulders, squeezing the shoulder blades behind you as your hands pull you in the other direction. that pose, walk your hands back towards you and gradually stack the spine back up again. Now coming back to our wide-legged seated position, this time bring the left foot in towards your inner thigh. <clears throat> From here, take your left hand around behind you. As we take a nice big inhale, we're going to press that hand down into the mat, lift up the hips, and stretch the whole body open. 
lifting the hips up, looking back towards your fingers. Stay here for a couple of breaths. And with control, sit those hips back down onto the mat. And we'll switch to the other side. So this time, take the right hand down onto the mat behind you, bending the right leg in towards the inner thigh. Take a nice big inhale, lift the hips, stretch the left arm up and over, and look back towards those fingers. And then with control, gently bring those hips back down onto the mat. And then we'll move from side to side. So switch the legs. Inhale as you lift the hips and stretch. And then exhale nice and slowly, bring the hips back down to the mat. Switch the legs. Inhale as you then go up to the other side. Exhale as you slowly come back down. Switch the legs, inhale up. Exhale as you slowly come back down. Switch the legs, inhale up. Exhale, slowly back down. We'll do one more each side. So switch the legs, inhale up. Slowly exhale back down. Switch the legs, last one, inhale up. And then exhale back down. Excellent stuff. <clears throat> Bringing the feet together in front of you, soles of the feet together. Have about two palms distance from your heels to your pelvic bone. <clears throat> and then just bounce the knees a little bit side, each side. Sitting up nice and tall out of your hips. Lean the body forwards. And when you can't lean forwards any further, gently roll through the spine, allowing the head to bow. You can either keep your hands holding onto your feet or you can thread your hands underneath your legs if you like to get bound into funny positions. Remember to try and keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. And very slowly bring your hands back into the center and slowly roll your spine back up to seated, <coughs> letting the head come up last. Then use your hands on the outside of your knees to squeeze your legs together, take the feet out long and give your legs a little bit of a wiggle. And then if you're not already lengthways on your mat, just move around 
so that you're lengthways on your mat. Start with legs out nice and long, legs are engaged, toes are curled up towards your nose, hands straight out from your shoulders and we'll gently roll down nice and slowly, curling the tailbone under, rolling the spine down bone by bone by bone. When it gets difficult, squeeze everything a little bit tighter, go down a little bit lower, squeezing, lowering, squeezing, lowering, squeezing, lowering until everything's down on the mat. <clears throat> then bring the feet in towards the hips, placing the feet on the mat <clears throat> side by side, arms down by your sides now. Tuck your shoulders underneath your torso, make sure your whole spine is nice and comfy. Take a nice big inhale and as you exhale, press your feet into the mat. Take a nice big inhale here. And then exhale, release the feet. So all we're doing is changing the pressure in our feet. Nice big inhale. Exhale, press the feet into the mat. Inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale, press the feet. Inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale, press the feet. Inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale, press. Inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, press. Inhale, exhale, release. Now we'll move using bridge pose. So as we inhale, we lift the hips and peel our spine up off the mat. And as we exhale, we roll the spine back down. So really press the feet into the mat, inhale, start curving the tailbone up, followed by the spine, bone by bone by bone by bone. And then when you can't lift any higher, slowly start to exhale, rolling that spine back down onto the mat. So we inhale as we roll it up. And exhale as we roll it down. One more like this, inhaling up. And exhaling down. Now we're bringing the arms. So as we inhale and curve the spine up, we also bring the arms up until the arms drop above the head and we can't lift our hips any higher. Then as you exhale, roll the spine back down and bring the arms with you. So gradually the spine goes back down and the hands come back down by your sides on the mat. So inhale, curl it up, lifting the arms. At the top, lift your hips as high as you can. And then exhale, roll it all the way back down, bringing your arms with you. One more like this, inhaling up. And exhaling down. And then lift the hips and hold. Really pressing the feet into the mat, pressing the hands into the mat. Really lifting the hips as high as you can and take three breaths here. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Once you've done your three breaths, roll the spine back down onto the mat. Hug the knees in towards your chest. Right hand on right knee, left hand on left knee. And just do a few little circles through the hips. And then take those circles in the other direction.
and then take the feet up towards the ceiling, reach up with your hands and try and grab onto the feet somewhere, either outside, inside, maybe piece fingers around your big toe, whichever feels most natural to you. And then squeeze your knees in towards your armpits into Happy Baby. And then releasing the feet, take the legs out long on your mat, letting the feet fall open. Make sure the lower back's comfy and if it isn't, bring your feet to the mat and let the knees roll in. Or take the feet together and let the knees roll out, whichever feels best for you. Arms down by your sides, either palm up, palm down, or you can rest them on your lower belly. Tuck the shoulder blades underneath your torso, so there's plenty of space between your shoulders and your ears and allow your whole body to settle on the mat. And then just take your awareness back to how the body feels. Notice any sensations there are to be felt within the body, within the joints, the bones, your muscles. Notice if anything's changed since the start of class. Notice what your breath's up to. Are you breathing through your nose, your mouth, a mixture of the two? How long is the inhale? How long is the exhale? Where does the breath move your body? And has anything changed since the start of class? And then take a few moments to simply watch the breath come and go in and out of the body. Letting it come and go as it pleases. Allowing the body to understand that your practice is coming to an end. And it can go about its business of fixing the connective tissue, returning your heart rate and your temperature to normal.
day, gradually bring your awareness back to your body from wherever it's wandered off to. And start to think about moving. Maybe a single finger or toe. Maybe rolling the head from side to side or making a bigger movement, a great big stretch, hugging the knees in, maybe twisting. Move your body however it wants to move. And then when you're ready, roll over onto your side and come up to seated. And your practice for this evening is done. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it.